And as you guys can see, I'm getting so much candies with this auto form. And look at that, guys. It just grabbed like four fruits all at once with this script. This GY is so OP. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some new and updated script GYs for the new Box Fruits Christmas update. These new GYs actually have some features for the new Christmas event, working candy farm, present farm, and a lot more. And to use this script, you need two things. First of all, you need the script itself, obviously, which I'll be showing you how you can use and download later on in this video. And second of all, you need the Roblox exploit. And if you don't have one, don't worry, guys. I'll be showing you guys a free Roblox exploit called KiwiX, which you can use to use these scripts. And I'll also be showing you how you can use it later on in the video. But before that, I just want to say, somewhere in this video, I hit a random Roblox gift card code for a thousand robux so make sure to watch the entire video now to get the script and to find the robux code and don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel with post videos if turned on anyways guys let's just get into it to download the script go to the first link in the description and now you'll be seeing this website as you can see so there are two ways to get the script the first way is to download the exploit kiwix on the website which has a ton of games as you can see in a game hub and you can execute blocks fruits from here instantly as you can see right there and if you have kiwix you won't have to download any other scripts you will have everything in this gui as you can see and you can find kiwix on the top of the website right here as you can see just click on it and here you'll be able to install it but if you already have an exploit and you only want the script you'll find a two new scripts called makuro hub and hoho hub on the bottom as you can see right there or you can just search for blocks fruits on the search tab on the top right as you can see right here and here we'll find a ton of scripts as well anyways i'll be installing hoho hub right here as you can see just click on it and now i'll be showing you i can download any script from the website so make sure to watch it carefully so once you're on the script page go down to you see download button and just click on it right here as you can see then you'll see a page with a few tasks as you can see there can only be a maximum of two tasks i only have one right here and if you need any help finishing them or if you have any issues make sure to ask our support from discord server in the description for some help and they will help you out that will be discord.gg slash roblox exploits anyways the first step is to download and install an app just click on it and you will see this hit download that will install a file as you can see once you open the file you will see this now guys these files are not malicious they're completely safe but if you still have some suspicion you can delete them afterwards if you want to anyways once you're here just hit next and you will see a few offers as you can see but you can decline these offers just like this so decline decline and there we go next and it will be downloading the file as you can see once it is done you will see this hit install now and now you will see the setup just finish it real quick and once it is done you will see this just hit done and you will see a working page open up as you can see on this page you only have one simple task right here as you can see just finish it and once it is done just press go to destination you will get the script in the txt file right here as you can see now just copy the script just press ctrl a ctrl c and open up a blocks once you are in blocks fruits open up your roblox exploit and i'll be using kiwix in this video which you can download and link in the description as i said before and it will just paste the script right here and then hit execute and you'll be seeing a gui opening up as you can see right there now for the script you need a key just cut it real quick it's really simple to get just press get key right here and the gui will load up as you can see right there so this gui has a ton of tabs as you can see it has a hop tab main farm rate up for them player and in each tab you have a lot more stuff look at that guys now first of all on main you have a misc tab you can show all your items but you can't close it so once you open this it won't close let's just open that real quick and now you can see all of your items as you can see as i said before you can't close this so you have to rejoin the game to remove this so i'll be right back anyways next you have use all codes two times xp so once you enable this it will use all of your codes if you haven't used them already so i already used them so i can't really use them right now anyways next off you have core reset stats so once you click on these it will have a code which you can use to reset your stats but i think i already use them actually i got one at the top as you can see update one stat refund as you can see right there next you can boost your fps if your game is lagging this will help for people with a bad pc pretty much then you can rejoin you can also serve up to a different server you can serve up to a server with less people they can tp to the first c second c or the third c then you can swap the food seller in the mirage island right here as you can see then you have free cam so once you enable this you press p you can see it on the map as you can see and you can just run around you can see everything from the top then you can remove all lava in the game you can make it all way so like your game will never be uh, dark as you can see then you can fly when you press j so once you press it you will fly around the map as you can see really really cool then you can make it so you have an rtx shader in your game which you can use if you have an rtx graphic card so once you enable this your game will look um yeah it will look really really weird so don't use this guys then you can walk on water so once you enable this you can pretty much walk on water let's just go here and walk on this water right here and look at that the water can touch me which is really cool as well they can switch teams you can open the fruit shop you can open any shop from a distance you can open this right here from a distance you can open the uh, titles if you want that and that's it for the misc tab next off you have the best tab which is a christmas event tab right here so first of all you can see the amount of candies you currently have they can see how you get candies so you can get candies by farming mobs in the event island so currently i'm in the event island as you can see so i have to farm mobs to get candies pretty much and the farm you have to go to the farm tab right here just enable that and here you will see all the pages to farm so before auto farming just enable the auto stats page just enable any of the stats that you want to upgrade i'm going to do the melee right now and it will use your points among these as you can see i'm just going to do all of them for this video so like now i will use every single point among all of these stats individually and and it will divide them equally as you can see so currently i have 40 30 20 
10 and I should be at 0 now as you can see. Then you have config farm which is settings for your auto farm. So you can do single quest or double quest. I'll be doing double quest because that's just way cooler. Then you can do farm method above. You can do normal twin. You can do bypass teleport which is the best uh, method right here which I will be using in this video. Then if it's like your weapon I'll be using god human right here. Then you can make it so it auto turns your bruiser hockey on for you. You can use your ken hockey as well. Now I will be using it for you as well right there. Then you can do remove effects if you want to do that. You can do auto click so it will click really really fast. So now as you can see it's gonna click for myself right there and it's attacking really really fast. They're gonna do no stuff so we'll disable on sound effects. You can also make it so your character goes through walls with no clips. So once you enable this, so now I can go through all of the walls I want. Look at that guys. I can just run through everything, which is really cool. And you also have super fast attack, which attacks really really fast, but this can get you kicked out of the game, so don't use that in my opinion. Then you can view hitbox, you can pretty much see the enemy's hitbox right here, as you can see. Let me just find an enemy. So now you can see the hitbox around these guys, as you can see right there. It can also from your mastery if you want that. Anyways, then you have four tasks for auto farming, you can auto from normal you can auto farm the c1 c2 c3 or another farm right here but i'll be using auto farm for this video so once you're on auto farm just enable auto farm level and it will get a request for you and it will auto farm for you as you can see and with this auto farm you can actually get candies so there we go there's a guy right there and he's getting damaged really really hard guys look at that he's holding a lot of health and he should be finished in a second there we go there's two more mobs right here it's gonna go finish them off and they're really low as well there we go and yeah you might get any candy out of these guys like just keep auto farming until you get a candy. So we are back auto farming as you can see. And there we go guys, we got one candy as you can see. We just got, we just got two. And we got one more candy as you can see at the top. Obtain candy x2. So we got two candies from that. Which means you can auto farm guys and get so much candies. So waiting for new NPC spawn. There we go. New auto farm this guy now. There we go. We got three candies. Look at that guys. It's really, really cool. And there's one more mob. Just finish him off. And we just finished the quest. And there we go. Another quest right here. It can go AFK while auto farming. And it will get me so many candies. And on the Christmas event tab, we just got more candies as you can see. But here you can also spend your candies you can see how much you have so i have 503 now and you can just buy some stuff if you want that with these so you can buy an elephant you can buy santa if you want that but i won't be able to buy anything i'm just gonna save mine up and I'll, you can also auto collect gift events so once you enable this it will auto collect all the gifts in the event if you have any anyways next off you have a page called double fruit right here where you have various features for the double fruit so first of all you can auto buy a double fruit for you so once you enable this it will buy double fruit I just got the smoke fruit as you can see i'm just gonna go store this they so can auto bring fruit so let's say any anything uh, that's dropped from your backpack it will bring it to your hands look at that and, oh look at that guys i just got so many fruits at once i just got the kilo fruit ice fruit and the spring fruit it all just happened that one second guys look at that i'm gonna go store this real quick damn i already have these fruits in my inventory so i cannot store them let me see yeah i have a ton so i cannot use these but yeah you can just gra grab so many fruits as you can see that was insane guys let's try it one more time so i'm gonna enable auto bring fruit and let's see there we go it's teleporting to the fruit now i'm gonna enable fruit yes yeah, like so i can see where i'm going and yeah there we go we have a kilo fruit i'm about to die i'm about to die okay chill 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 to jump a bit okay yeah but don't worry you can see the fruit right there kilo fruit and it's gonna go grab it so we're really close to it now and i should grab it. it's right above us and there we go i just got it in my hands as well so guys if anyone drops their fruit by accident it will grab it instantly for you which is really cool i'm just gonna drop it right here i will grab it again okay i shouldn't have done that anyways next you have auto store fruit which will pretty much store your fruits if you haven't stored them then you can auto drop fruits so it will auto drop all your fruits from your backpack which i'm not gonna do right now they can also snipe fruits let's say you want to get the new buddha's uh, fruit you can just snipe that if you want that so once enable snipe it will pretty much buy the fruit for you once it's in the shop instantly anyways next you have shop where you can pretty much buy hockey colors you can buy um, guns accessories swords and all that all from this one tab right here next off you have yes where you can pretty much see these frinks through walls so you can see players through walls you can see uh, fruit through walls you can see uh, flowers and also chests through walls now i can see everything through walls as you can see next off you have troll where you can pretty much troll yourself or your friends with this i don't know what orb a does but whatever i'm just gonna skip that then you can rain fruit so once you enable this it will rain fruit around you as you can see which is really really cool as well and you can actually like uh, show your friends with this if you want to you can actually use these uh, fruits in your hands as well so like you can show it to them if you want that then you can change your boat speed so i wouldn't recommend putting it above free, uh, 300 because that might get you kicked you can actually make your uh, boat fly too if you want that i can actually also steal boats so let's say you want to steal this guy's boat right here press steal boat and it will steal his boat right there i'm in his boat now and he has no idea guys and now i have his boat as you can see guys which is really cool and next you have big buddha i don't know what that is but yeah, I don't know what that is, guys, so I don't know what it does. Next, you have triple dark blade. So once you enable this, you have a triple dark blade in your inventory right here, as you can see. And it looks really, really cool as well. Look at that. It's a really cool uh, script right here. And I also have admin commands if you want to use that. Next, you have several ideas. You can teleport to a different server with a specific ID if you want that. Then you have some Discord stuff if you want to use it for your Discord right here. And also stuff for the Mirage Island. So you can tweet to the Mirage Island. You can remove fog and all that. You can have an ESP Mirage chest. You can also have an ESP uh, fruit dealer right here. And at last, on this tab, you have config where you can pretty much save your settings all into a file. And you can use that file to use the settings of this auto farm again. Next, you have, you have farm. I already showed you guys that a little bit. But I didn't show you guys these four tabs. So you have farm C1, which you can pretty much 
from all the things in Steam once you can farm the get pull v1 pink coat trident bazooka and all that could do the same thing for the series so you have legend sword um factory race free and all that and then you can do the same thing for um farm c3 so you can uh, farm auto lay be bear ears elite boss farm bones and all that which is really cool and you have other stuff too and there's another farm tab next off your raid where you can pretty much uh you know auto raid so first of all you got the settings and this raid so you can kill aura if you want that you can go to the next island if you want that you can tp to a lab you can also buy a uh, buy loud chips then you have auto raid where you can pretty much auto raid as i said before so if you select the raid you want to farm i'm just gonna do like light and then you can just simply enable this and it will auto raid for you anyways next you have teleport where you can pretty much teleport to different islands let's say i want to go to um let's see what's let's see i'm just gonna go to the castle on the sea and i also enable this able teleport there as you can see and i'm here as well there we go really really fast i can do the same thing for npc so you can pretty much go to like a uh, Butler enabled that and it will teleport you there as you can see and at last you have players so you can pretty much uh, Buff your player right here so you can make it so no one can see you with invisible So once you enable this it will kill you and it will be invisible for the rest of the game So now no one can see you except you yourself then you have bunny up So once you enable this you can dash faster as you can see look at that They have no so you can't get stunned you have a ming v4 transform once you enable this It will have the ming v4 transform for you right here. It's a really cool transformation. Oh, that's really really fast Damn, and the same thing for sky pia right here. I got another transformation. Look at those guys Guys, we're getting really OP right here. We can do the same thing for Fishman. There we go. The last transformation right here is this. And look at that, guys. We look really OP right now. We have everything mixed up. And look at that behind us. Then you can have infinite ability if you want that with the mink race. Then you can have walk speed fast so you can like run really fast or you can run slow if you want that. They can jump really high with this if you want that. Then you have infinite get pull, infinite energy, infinite soru, and infinite no dash. So now you can dash infinitely. Look at this, guys. You won't lose any energy while doing this, which is really cool. Next off, you can auto farm players in your server if you want those. So I say I want to auto farm this guy called johnny i can see what this person is doing with this so now i can see where he is and all that comes to tp to so once I enable this it will just tp to that person as you can see they can also auto from this player you can also kill him and also get his uh, bounty and all that and you even have a tab for auto banner which will pretty much kill all the players with a bounty in your server and get you so much money but that is it for whole up guys i hope you liked the video and if you did drop like i sub to the channel and i'll see you next video bye